Your friends want you every time I call. I know you know I've done nothing wrong. You can't help but try to write me off. You won't let me have it at all. But I want to show you. I want you. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie and I'm a master's student studying forensic archaeology and anthropology. I'm going to be filming a day in the life today because I thought it would be really interesting and you'll get to see what happens at Cranfield, which is a purely postgraduate university for a lot of like technical, engineering, food kind of shortage and environmental intelligence. It's, it's like that sort of sector. There's also the management school as well, but I don't really know anything about that. Today is particularly exciting because I have a practical today. It's my first face-to-face -face practical because... Coronavirus! <laughs> but I have a two-hour practical where we basically get to be CSIs for the day. So how this course works is that each week we have one module. We do that module from nine to five pretty much back to back and then that's all the content then we have like three weeks to write an assignment it could be a report it could be based on lab reports it could be a practical this one is purely a report but today's practical is kind of like a formative assessment so we either have to do it face to face or we have to do it virtually in order to like pass the module because it's really important i've got quite a way to walk this morning because we're going to essentially the other side of Cranfield. I think I've possibly got the weirdest breakfast I've ever made. There's been this wrap in my cupboard for over a week and you know it's not mouldy, it's not completely hard, it was basically fine, it just needed a little bit of time in the microwave to bring it back to life. And now I have a PBJ wrap and I don't know what I thought I was setting out to do but it wasn't that. We've been told that it's probably going to be quite muddy because it's on grass and it was raining a lot yesterday. So I'm taking my, well, I'm wearing my walking boots and hoping that they don't rub me. They haven't done. So they better not betray me today. I've tried to dress really warm, but there's a possibility that all of the PPE, like the full, we have to wear full PPE, like, hazmat style. <laughs> I'm a bit worried that that's gonna make me really sweaty underneath but also it is only eight degrees and I get cold very easily. That's where I'm trying to go. <laughs> This way it is. Okay, I think I'm definitely here. I can see the police cordon tape that's ready for us to do our practical, and they said there'd be a marquee. So this is exciting. You can actually see the Cranfield jet behind me, probably. Yeah, we're at the air crash kind of investigation in aerospace engineering bit. Look at those cordons. It's sectioned off into like spaces that we can then look into for our investigation, which is very exciting. I don't know if anyone's actually going to be there yet, but I was told to get here early to sort my camera out and stuff. I don't really know how to do this, because I don't know what we're doing. Well, I think that's the scene. Welcome to my informative video. Um, no, I don't know what I'm doing, and just about sums up my life. Aim to get to number seven by the end of your time slot, which will be what, half past 11? Yeah. 
Um, and once I've finished with the next group, I'll, I'll keep hovering around. Work together, discuss what you've got. I'd probably go around and have a look at the crime scene as well, because it'll give you answers to some of the questions that you, you may have. I'm gonna head back to my room to have lunch and get changed, sort this out and then get my laptop and everything for working this afternoon. I've got two meetings this afternoon and then we basically got to work on our group presentations on Teams or Zoom, I don't know which yet, but I'm gonna do that on campus because I find it easier to focus and things and also then I can work with anyone who's on site as well and it'll just make everything easier. <laughs> I love the trees in autumn, they're so pretty. I just love how the blue and the orange, no, the orange and the blue <coughs> go together. My camera's been saying it's got no battery since about 10 minutes into the practical, which I know is ridiculous because I charged it all night and that was like the first time I was really filming. But it's still awake, al alive, awake. Um, it's not died on me yet, so I'll just charge it over lunch. <sighs> Made it out on time, just about. Got changed. And I'll switch back to my camera like when I get there, but I was in a rush. So I put my camera in my rucksack because I'm stupid. And I'm not gonna film this meeting anyway. I don't really wanna walk into it with a camera. It's a strange first impression, isn't it? Let's be honest. I've just had my meeting, so I'm leaving the archaeology building, which technically we're not allowed in because it's not finished yet and it's not like fully socially distant proofed, but I'm proofed. I don't know. I'm the only person in here. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave via the one way system and go and sit in the room that I was in the other day. It was a really nice meeting. I feel pretty confident about my degree and myself and my future, sort of. I have managed to trap myself in the COVID secure one-way system, which is not ideal. I can't go forwards out the door because my card doesn't work and I can't go backward because the doors are like secure so that we don't break the one-way system. So I am trapped. No, that's true. Maybe we just need the re what's our key piece of evidence? We should probably just have that on the Oh, actually, I have the dark with the white Tearing us apart with the white lies God don't even start heavy heart sipping my time Things been feeling shady Stop calling you baby Feel better when I'm doing like baby Feel better when I'm doing like, doing like I only want
I'm on my way home now and there's a really pretty pink sky behind me. It's about six o'clock. done my contact hours for the day I've also done a lot of my meetings for the day I had two and then I've got a load more for well I had a load more to do my presentation which is tomorrow morning and I'm pretty sure that I'm basically done with that as well but I just need to make sure I finished it and written all my notes down so I can properly present it in the morning at 10 30 I'm gonna have a big break now essentially and like eat cookie chill and then get back on and make sure I've finished everything so that tomorrow morning I'm not stressed panic making this presentation I'm back the first thing I'm gonna do is change out of my jeans in three two one ow ow It is quite a bit later now. It's like eight, quarter past eight. I've had my tea. I'm gonna get back on with this presentation. Basically, I've done all my slides, but I've also volunteered because I've got all the photos. It just makes it easier to put everyone else's slides like onto the PowerPoint so that it's formatted all the same. They've sent me all the slides. I literally just need to either screenshot them and paste them in or copy and paste depending on how they've sent them to me. I don't really mind which it won't take me long at all and just make sure I've actually got everything that I was meant to have in my section so that I don't let the rest of the group down <laughs> and after that I'll probably do maybe half an hour of editing maybe slightly more maybe not at all I really don't know yet that's what I should do I'm tired <laughs> I'm really really tired you me at the college her friends play my songs and they've been following me Yeah, I don't like to do that much explaining or talking Just know she had coffee with me, yeah I hear you like pizza and dancing Love that is not that romantic, yeah I don't have no time for no antics Fly on, smile for the cameras Oh, they like me now Go ahead, wipe me down She don't got a man do you think of me when I'm not around? Y'all hit the ground when you walk around. Hey, hey, somehow it is 20 past 10. Means I need to get ready for bed because I've got this presentation in the morning and I can't oversleep. I don't know how it got that late, but I've just been doing study tube project admin, uploading some submissions that were submitted and approved back in July, but still needed to go up because you know we'd approved them that's what i've been doing i've also been double checking over this presentation and i've managed to watch half an episode of blind manor before i decided that i had to get all this stuff done so yeah i think i'm just gonna read my book because my eyes have had enough screams today this lighting is awful but I didn't want to get out my ring light just for an hour in the evening. My room's already a mess. It's just one more thing to have to tidy away tomorrow. So I'll uh, just have to look like I'm the lumber. Three day weekend. Hit it on me then. Can't believe that. Oh, they like me now. Yeah. Go ahead, wipe me down. She don't got a man. Cause he ain't lock it down. Hey, do you think of me when I'm not around? Y'all hit the ground when you walk up brown Look like, look like art Look like art, look like art Look like art, look like art, look like art.